is up guys welcome back to another episode in the Honda Civic Mugen SI series in the last video we went in and we changed the transmission fluid out of this car that transmission fluid was so old so nasty smelled gross filled it up with some fresh Ames oil synchro mesh got her shifting nice and smooth able to roll through the gears with no problem so continuing on with keeping up with all the maintenance on this car that I don't know if the previous owners have kept up with Today we're going to go ahead and change the spark plugs, so let's dive right into it. First thing we're going to want to do is, we're going to want to pop our hood open, make sure that the engine is cold to the touch. We are pulling out spark plugs from a metal block, so when metal's hot, things expand. Um, it just makes it much harder to pull out spark plugs on a hot engine. So make sure the engine is cold, let it sit for about half hour, hour after you drive it. Um, and then what we'll want to do is we'll want to remove this piece. So let me show you what tools you'll need. Um, I'll be upgrading my spark plugs. I'm not sure what's in here, but Honda does recommend every 100,000 miles to change these out. My car has 128,000 miles, so it's just about time. Now this could have been changed out at 100,000 miles with the previous owner. I just don't know if it was. So I'm going to go ahead and just change these for peace of mind. Here's the part number that I am using. These are NGK Iridium. Uh, spark plugs. Um, NGK is also recommended in the manual. Um, I believe there's two recommended spark plugs for these, Denso and NGK. So I just went with NGK as I've used them in the past and had no issues. Torque wrench, we will be uh, torquing our spark plugs to 13 foot-pounds. So just to keep it at factory specs. I got trim removal tool. You can use like a flathead screwdriver to pull these fasteners out to remove this uh, this cow but i've just found that having a trim removal tool just makes it easier and kind of doesn't snap the fasteners quarter inch ratchet three eighths inch ratchet extension because the spark plugs are pretty deep inside the engine um, i have a deep socket five eighths um, that will help tighten it you'll definitely need a spark plug socket and i'm trying to see if i could get proper lighting in here but there's a um, foam grommet in there that will catch the spark plug to pull it out. So again, this is 5 8 inch similar to the 5 8 inch deep socket, but this is a spark plug socket to help pull it out. 10 millimeter deep, 12 millimeter, and then a 10 millimeter. I also have a spark plug gap tool. These come pre-gapped from the factory. Um, however, I just want to ensure that they are properly gapped. The gap for our car is going to be 0 0.044. So I'm just going to ensure them prior to putting it into the engine. Microfiber cloth and just some gloves so we don't get dirty. So let's get ahead and start pulling this trim off so we can have access to the spark plugs. Okay, so step one is we're going to be pulling off this rubber stripping and that's just going to help us remove this plastic trim. So pull this off, put it to the side. Um, if you want, go ahead and clean this. Um, I'm probably just going to do that before I put it all back together. So put this over to the side. What we'll be doing is we're going to be pulling out three fasteners. Um, it seems like my car is missing one of them, um, but where they're located is right over here. Here's uh, one right down here. Um, here's number two, right in the center. And then number three is gonna be on the exact same side as the passenger, but for the driver. I'm gonna be using my trim removal tool. It's just gonna make everything much easier um, as it lets me get right down in there and pull it out. You can use a flathead if you have one. All right, so now that we remove one, two, three, we're gonna wanna take this entire piece off. This is its own piece, as you can see, this, uh, this break in plastic. So let's get this off. I'm gonna put this on the tripod and pull that off. There we go. This is off. Uh, the wiper fluid is gonna be attached. So you can just pull this apart and disattach it right over here. But make sure you attach it back when you're going back in and installing this. I'm just gonna pull it apart just so I can make cleaning much easier. Um, so 
so just pull it from right here and just pull it out slowly don't tear anything you might have some washer fluid leak out but that's fine there you go put this over put this on the side it's attached by these clips none broke good news i'm just gonna put this over to the side clean it and start pulling out the other pieces so i got the the plastic trim off the rubber trim off it's pretty dirty over here um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take my vacuum and vacuum this out prior to pulling this out um, and give it a nice clean um probably won't be pulling this out anytime soon so might as well clean it while i have the chance some magic I was able to crack these open and there's one another one in the back pull that out still a little tight so just loosen it a bit more pull that out there's two come to the other side three and four so there's your four pretty rusted because water from rain does pass through got these rusted so probably just gonna take a, a wire brush to these after put them in and now that we got all four of those out we can lift this up and this should come right out there's actually one more 10 millimeter back there which i missed so let me get my ratchet and pull that out all right, so I got everything loose. There was actually one extra bolt uh, that I failed to mention. So you got 10, a 10, 12, and a 12. Then there's a 10 in the center. And on the driver's side, 10, 10, 12, 12. So you have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bolts in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can see my other one is right here. And this comes right out. I'm gonna put this over to the side, clean it up real nice. Okay, so now that we got the metal cowl off, we can see we have so much more uh, room to access. There's four 10 millimeter bolts over here. We're gonna have to remove those to access our coil packs. So let's do that. Thing to note, front, there are these small ones. In the back, it's like an actual bolt. So just keep that in mind when you're gonna go back and put this back. Okay, so we got those off. We're just gonna remove this. Also, again, put this over to the side, clean it. What I like to do is whenever I take any screws or bolts or nuts off, I like to just place them back where I found them, just so it's easier to remember as you can see i put them all back in place so when i remove pieces i know where they came from okay so now we have clear access to our coil packs as you can see we have one two three four bolts holding down our coil packs so we'll have to remove these these are all 10 millimeter um, you can see this one is a little longer 
than the others, so that's where we'll use our deep socket. Okay, so let's start removing these. So short, deep, short, deep. Let's pull these out, which will help us remove our coil packs. Looks like that. Put it over to the side, and then uh, let's start removing more pieces. Okay, so we got those removed. Next, what we'll want to do is we'll want to just pull our coil packs up. You can either just disconnect them or just pull them out and pull it over to the side. I think it's easier to disconnect them so you're not putting any stress on the wire. So let me go ahead and disconnect these. Okay, so I don't see any oil. That's a good thing. And now we have access to pull our spark plugs out. Spark plugs are all the way down over there. Uh, and let's start pulling this out. I made sure to vacuum this uh, before I yank the coil packs out just so no dust or debris goes down into the cylinders. Uh, but let's get our extension and start pulling these out. So what I'm doing next is I'm taking my spark plug socket, the extension, putting it onto the end and taking my 3 8 inch ratchet and I'm going to start pulling out the spark plugs. And there we can see how old and how nasty these are. So it's a good thing that I'm going ahead and removing these. Let's see what brand these are. And these are the factory Denso. So it's a good thing I'm removing these. So let's go ahead, remove all four. There's our second one, equally as nasty. Um, I'm just glad I don't see any oil right now, but Super happy we're changing these out. These are shot. Next one, super nasty. Last one, also very nasty. So I'm glad I'm going in and changing these. So we got everything out and now it's pretty much backwards from here. Um, there's our four spark plugs. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my spark plugs, check that the gapping is right, and then put them back in. So guys, these are the plugs that I pulled out. Look how nasty these are. These seem like they've seen 200,000 miles of abuse and it's only 130,000 miles. So, so glad I'm doing this. Let's go ahead and start putting the new plugs in. And what a difference this is gonna be. You can see that it's the exact same plug, um, different brand obviously, but size and everything is the same. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna check the gap on these. Um, it should be zero, uh, 0 0.044. So just put it in here, 0 0.0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're good there. Uh, I'm gonna do that for all four of them and then start putting these in. Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take our new spark plug put it in our spark plug socket. We just don't want to drop these in there because we could damage the electrode. So we're just going to put these in, slowly turn them, and then yank these out, uh, yank the socket out. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to take my torque wrench, 
torque them down to 13 foot pounds and we should be good. Okay, so we got the new spark plugs in. We've torqued it down to 13. What we're gonna wanna do is put the coil packs back on. Now, the coil pack torque is about 8.7. Uh, my torque wrench starts at 10. So, I'm just gonna do 10 on these. I'm not too worried. They shouldn't be too tight anyways, just snug. So get these back in, snug them up, and we should be good to go. All right, so let's put these back in. And remember, it's small, big, small, big, so in that specific order. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my torque wrench and torque the coil pack um, bolts to 10 foot pounds. Okay, so now that we got those in, just go back in and connect the wires um, or the harness. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to start the car up because I really don't want to take any of these pieces back off in case I did do something wrong. So got all this wire harness connected and we can start the car up. I got everything hooked up, new spark plugs are in. Let's go ahead and give it a start. See if it starts any quicker. Okay, perfect. No check engine lights, no issues. Started right up. Car seems to be idling even much smoother. No misfires, nothing. So we'll go back in and start putting everything back together. All right, so putting everything back together, I got this as clean as I could. This is not dirt, it's just faded. Put this back in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna tighten these down now, and then we can continue putting these pieces back on. Okay, so I got this attached, it's all clipped in. Just gotta attach this rubber stripping back, and we're uh, good to go. All right, boys. Um, going out for a little test rip now. As you can see, it's later in the day. Uh, the sun's gone. But I really did want to take the car out for a test rip now that I got the new spark plugs in there. Uh, I'm not expecting anything crazy. Maybe like a one horsepower or two horsepower gain. Um, those spark plugs were pretty shot. 130,000 miles on them. So, uh, they looked pretty beat up. So, I'm just glad that I got some fresh, fresh plugs in this car. Um, I'm gonna take it out for a little test rip. I just turned the car out on, um, so it's still a little cold. I'm just gonna make sure all the, the fluids are warm and everything, but pretty much I'm expecting the car to just feel smoother and more responsive now. New spark plugs, oil change, transmission fluid change, coolant change. Obviously, there's still a bunch of more maintenance that I have to do on this car, but uh, the key concerns or key areas, at least for recommended maintenance, is pretty much there um obviously still need to do like valve adjustment and all this other stuff but you know um that's all gonna come with time i think right now the weather is against me and it's also the amount of time i have um i do this for fun on the side i don't really uh, do this on a day-to-day -day basis but yeah let's go for a little test rip and uh we'll see how this performs on the highway so let me uh Get on the highway in Mexico and we'll uh, see how this does. Alright, so 
So I finally reached Mexico. Um, I'm gonna take this out for a little test rip. Um, got it up to second gear right now. Um, I'm just gonna get into VTEC off of this merge. And let's hit it. feeling ever. Um, we got a cop so let me slow down a little bit in Mexico. But yeah, it's such a good feeling. Uh, I love it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.